110 professional bowlers are in West Michigan this week for the PBA 50 Spectrum Lanes Open. The entry list includes some of the best bowlers of all time. Pete Weber, Norm Duke, uh, Chris Barnes, Parker Bone, uh, Bob Learn, Amleto, um, and probably another dozen more that, that I didn't name. Pete Weber is just one of the PBA Hall of Famers taking part in this week's tournament. Even after 37 national final victories, Grand Rapids is a place he remembers well. I won in 2003, shot 299 on TV, so you know, and tied my dad at PBA titles at the time. So you know, that Grand Rapids got a very special place in my heart. Meanwhile, Chris Barnes is a newcomer to the PBA 50 Tour as he does double duty, bowling all over the country. Still competing on the regular tour, I'm bouncing back and forth this summer actually. In Lubbock, then flew to Hammond, then back to Houston, and then this morning I flew in to, uh, to Grand Rapids. The bowlers admit the PBA 50 Tour is a little bit more relaxed, but do not be mistaken, everyone is there to win. Much different atmospheres, uh, you know, both tours you're trying to win and there's a lot of people that are still really competitive and this one's full of superstars like Pete and uh, you know guys I, I admire for a lot of reasons. If I'm bowling this tournament I'm here to win so this is a uh, this is competitiveness to me but they are right it is a lot more friendly out here it's it's a lot more relaxing you know, uh, I'm not trying to beat the kids anymore. Not quite as serious as a regular tour, but it's still serious. You know, there's, uh, we're all trying to win. John Burkett has 32 perfect games bowling to his credit, and that's after a 15-year Major League Baseball career in which he was a two-time All-Star back in 1993 and 2001. Now he's a professional bowler. Fantastic was to be a professional bowler, and then uh, I got drafted out of high school in baseball, and so. I got $12,500 a sign, signing bonus, so I figured, hey, I never have to work again. I mean, that's a lot of money, $12,500. <laughs> While he notched his first PBA victory in 2019, it was on a regional tour. Now his goal is to win a big event like the one here in Grand Rapids. It's the dream, you know, I want to I want to win a tournament and uh, at least one. The Spectrum Lanes Open will continue over the next two days with the finals scheduled to begin on Wednesday night at around 7 p.m. In Wyoming, Zach Herrick, Fox 17 News.